are two obvious categories. I mean, one is sort of the social networking and all of that, that kind of technology, which is just, I think, revolutionizing the world. I mean, it's just mind-boggling when you go to poor countries and see people on cell phones that didn't have them. And so they're linking and they're learning and they're, they're moving quite quickly on lots of things. So I, I am, my mind is blown by the potential revolutionary forces of, of, of these communications technologies in particular. Uh, for both good and evil in some cases. But, uh, so I don't know where it's taking us all, but I think it's uh, the reason to be more optimistic than pessimistic, but there's actually some pessimistic because it means that a small group of people can organize to do really nasty things. And human nature being what it is, um, uh, in the, if, if, if the, if the world, the, what we all should hope is that the, the future bends towards justice, um, uh, like Martin Luther King. And I think there's reason to think it will, it will on some issues. Um, so it's not crazy to, to think that it could bend towards justice. And technology has a, a role in that human conversation, which will lead to greater freedom, greater uh, care about rights, due process, etc. Um, other kinds of technology, are, of course, are the, the technologies that will limit the impact of the human race on ecological systems and human health. Okay? And there it's vitally important that we transform um, uh, uh, technology that would allow really poor people to emerge out of poverty, uh, which they need desperately, uh, uh, but at the same time to do it in a way that doesn't have the same impact that the average American has on the world. And I think there's reason for hope there, but not, not sure how it's, how it's going to, going to go. I mean, if you go to China, as I, I have, I mean, China's been, I, I've been there three times over five-year intervals, and every five years it looks completely different. It's just this, the pace of the economic development, it blows your mind when you see it. Um, it's actually mind-blowing to see the number of, five years ago, the first time I was there, there were no cars, private cars, they were all taxis and bicycles. That's just 10 years ago. Five years later, everybody had a car, within five years. Now, they, they not only have cars, they have BMWs and Mercedes. <laughs> it's mind-blowing, uh, China. Um, and so, the world urgently needs technologies that are ecologically friendly.